almost an hour. I need you to come out and grab me. I'm sorry, but it's not. Hey, are you coming to TJ's tomorrow night? TJ? Yeah, TJ. God, I want you guys to like each you other. Do B, I do. So you'll be there. Well, I mean, I'll try. I already promised that I'd drop by this thing. With Nick? Yeah. Lily, you're a fallback. Person change? I'm the one that needs change, mister. Fuck you! Guess who? I didn't see you come in. Now what fun would that be?
Let's start from the beginning. Um, I'm Lily. I'm 23. I um, just recently graduated from FIT. And I have this best friend. She's kind of my favorite thing. In Let's talk about Nick. Um, I don't know. He's kind of amazing. I, he's probably the sweetest guy I've ever met. What about your job? I mean, it's in fashion, so that's good. And I'm learning a lot. Good morning. You don't have AC. Thanks. Why are we talking like this? This is how we talk now. Make me food. No. Mm -mm. Mm. What do you want for breakfast? I guess I have like pancakes. <coughs> so, what are you wearing tonight? Huh? Thank you for that. You are going. Am I? I've had to club and sack you myself. How much fun? Extremely. Astonishingly, breathtakingly, mm. fancy. You gotta work. Mm. Why are you gonna quit? Mm. I can't. I have to maintain this lab. lab about last night. That wasn't nice. What exactly did you hear? You and Nick. I mean, I guess it's just inevitable. Eventually, we all just drift apart. Because, like, that's what the universe is doing. You know? Drifting, fading, dying, that's it. And then one day, you wake up and realize you're dating a meteoroid when all a girl really wants is to be whisked off by a shooting star, you know? I thought they were the same thing. The point is, you want the dream we all do, but eventually you have to grow up and settle for something more realistic. Like a quarry rock. Or worse, like the Heideki rock. Like the kind you find in one of those sad and fight magazines. Yeah, you lost me. That's life for most people. I mean, not ours, of course, but... For most people. Yeah, but I mean... But it actually gets, like, better with age. Mm. 
my vintage motorcycle jacket. Great. <sighs> oh, so Jess posted pictures of last night. And it appears you checked in at Canopy around 11, eek. And then you were back in BK 30 minutes later. It all makes sense now. You know, you really should work wait, on a more socially viable virtual reputation. No, wait, what makes sense? Nick, all over this model check. That's why you left, is No, it... No, I mean, that's like his job. Yeah, but it's the same one every time. Um, ben isn't here, is he? Ugh, I don't know. He's separated now. He kind of does what he wants. Good day. Um, yeah, it's actually really good. 2100. Uh-huh. And what's Donna doing on the ticker? Up, actually, I think it's 18 and a quarter. Uh, and the inventory? In transit with an estimated delivery We're get some coke. 15 minutes ago. Hey, baby, it's Nick. Uh, listen, I feel like such shit about last night. Like, seriously, shit just... I don't know, shit just got mad crazy, you know how fucked up my schedule can get. But, you know, work now, live later. Bet you probably looked hot as shit last night. Tell you what, uh, drop by my show tonight, okay? Give me a ring, we can make up for last night. Set. Shall we? Yeah, I don't want to see Nick. Are you being serious? Yes. But Beatrice is having people over, so we could go there and still have fun. Come on. Please. Please. No. I'd fuck me. I'd fuck you. Really? Well, yeah. If I was a guy. I'd stick my penis in your vagina. Totally. Wow, thanks. Oh, Lily's standing there. The bag on her head. <laughs> and she's in the shower, completely naked. And she's... <laughs> and she's just, you know, waiting for Nick to go and switch over his film oh, or whatever bullshit excuse he made up to leave. And, uh, and then it wasn't until the delivery guy turns up that she thought, wait a minute, I wonder if Nick's actually arrived back yet. And of course he was nowhere to be found. Truth is supposed to be something about yourself. It is, I was there. You were absolutely... He was... He was trying to get material for his portfolio because he's trying to find... Lily! For... It was material for his fucking wank bag. <laughs> no, it was not! If it was, why are you he's trying to make it very talk. serious for him? He's trying to be a very serious I... photographer. Oh, and he yeah. had to go because he had... I... No, but really, really, it was very sweet and he felt very bad that he had to leave afterwards. And and he came back and he made me dinner and he apologized and it was really very sweet and so you know those kind of things happen oh, wow. oh super super uh no it's i have something really exciting to tell you really what is it uh, it's wonderful news all right can everyone um, um, quiet down a little uh, bit please I promise you won't freak out um, okay i mean I totally everyone shut the fuck up So, yes, I have some really exciting news. I am pleased to say that my time here in this wonderful city has been quite amazing. 
and it wouldn't have been half as amazing without you guys being part of it. So, it is with great sadness that I say, I will not be taking residence here much longer. I have a job in London with my dad's label and I am sadly leaving in seven days. This is my last week in New York. I'm excited for you, man. That's awesome. I miss you both. That is really crazy, but what else would you expect? That's that. Yeah. Does she just need a change? I thought she wanted to miss us. Wouldn't be surprised. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> you look like your dog just died. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. <laughs> When did you meet Kat? Four years ago. We were roommates at FIT. How would you describe your time together? Well, I think she actually learned a lot from me, so. I mean, I'm not saying that Kat, like, isn't smart, but she just might be kind of disadvantaged from all of the drugs, so. Is this a period that she's overcome? Yes and no. It's hard to tell with those kinds of people. You don't seem to have a high opinion of her. No, it's... <laughs> okay, so this is gonna sound really horrible, but um, when I say eight and a half, Kat thinks I mean penis size. So, yeah. It's pretty hard to talk with her about anything that's anything. I'm assuming you're not excited for her. Uh, no. She has a whole new city of people to fuck. That's awesome. So you don't feel happy for her? I mean, it's not like it even fucking matters. It's... I don't need her. Why didn't you tell her off right there? Oh, my God. 
Oh, can we please talk about something else? Okay. So you hit a car with a beer. Tell us about that. I was imagining Cat's head. What is this? Sunglasses? It's a long story. Oh? Well, I better start with once upon a time I was born, and shortly after leaving the nest, I flew over a few blocks to Agatha's peaceful tree, where I pretended to be a harmless, hardworking bird, but lately I've sucked. And I need to pull my shit together and tell Agatha thank you, for I owe you my life. <sighs> tell me something good. Tell me you brought me coffee. I did not. I genuinely hope this is some sort of phase. Awesome, you're hilarious. Now get. Hey. So we should. I mean. I can understand how you're feeling. I don't think you do. I know it sucks, but this is huge for me. You have to understand that. You're gonna start your own line, it'll be fucking awesome, I know it'll be. This is going to work out. Can you just postpone it? <laughs> what? I can't, I'll get someone else. This is a career move. How could you not understand that? I, I get it. Then what's the big deal? You're going to be big, Lily. I knew it since the day we met. <laughs> no, really. I did. We'll make the best of this. I know. I hope I can make you feel better. I want you to come for this art show tonight. Okay, I'll think about it. There'll be a lot of interesting people. Um, so the 17th, that's a Friday, right? Yeah. More than enough time for us to have fun. <laughs> It'll be like sophomore year in Cabo. Remember Cabo? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was the text, not you. Cool, cool, cool. Listen, I, uh, I met this guy, total cokehead, but super down to earth. He's got this huge Paris bass line. It's like, it's like crazy high end. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm shooting his lookbook, and we totally hit it off. He, he takes me to some fucking penthouse, and we do some coke. I tell him that you're in fashion, and I know how much you need a backer, so I uh, got you like a shitload of contacts. And okay. I was really just thinking of you, and you know, I just I want to respect you and shit, and I don't, don't think I'm doing a good job at that. <laughs> God, excuse me. I am my own motherfucker right now.
You don't seem excited about the art show. Oh, that's really unfortunate. What do you expect to say to Kat? I mean, that's if she even shows up. But she said she'd make the best of things. <laughs> yeah, for her. Doesn't exactly include me. I believe you and Kat have a history at art galleries. Yeah, we, we do. Tell me about it. Um, I don't know, we would, we like always um, go as characters. Like we pretend to be French students and then anyone you would meet at the gallery, you'd keep on going with it. it I mean, Kat always thought it was like, fucking hysterical. I, and they, <laughs> there was this one time we, um, we ended up back at this photographer's apartment and I don't know, we were pretending to be British, but my accents are really, really bad. And I'm pretty sure he knew that it was complete bullshit because I kept on like just saying these insane things like radio and cheerio. Um, I don't know, Kat couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> but he might have been too fucked up to really notice. supposed to touch the artwork. Um, <laughs> of course, of course. I feel really stupid right now. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Are you, uh, are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah, it's a great space. Yeah. Yeah. What about the, the artwork? What do you think? It's pretty terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about this? This is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Well, you know, style-wise, I can see that, but... I don't know, it just feels... kind of... predictable. Like, how do you know that it's not a ripoff of something else? <laughs> what? I think that if something has meaning, then... it's beautiful. But that's, that's just my take. I don't know. Kind of feels like all style to me. We used to say style can't have substance. Did you come here with someone tonight? Yeah. What do uh, What do you do? Guess. Ah, uh, 
you're a waitress. Thank <laughs> Sorry? I can't believe you said that. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I am in fashion. Oh. Um, of course. I work at this boutique in Soho right now. I don't know. I don't know? Um, no, <laughs> that's, the, um, that's the name of the boutique. Uh, I don't know. Right. Do you like it? I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, it's... It's whatever, it's a job. I guess I just would really rather own my own store. So does that mean that you don't create your own work? No. I mean, I tried. It didn't really work out before, but I guess I'm not very good. I'm sorry, but I mean, that, that is complete bullshit. I mean, why else would you go in that medium? To, to collect a bunch of old shit from other people, it's not art. The whole reason why why you got into fashion was to create something and leave it behind. I mean, that's why we all get into the arts. You know what I think? I think that you're afraid of being judged. Well, that's not way to live. What? I mean, they tell me I'm wrong. Lady is uh, for Valentina. I love it. Two of them, nice, bro. Very nice. So, are they coming with? Actually, let's let the ladies make up their own minds because females are independent and intelligent. I'm Colin, by the way. How are you? Uh, hey, hey, buddy. Can you give us a minute? How long does it take you to close? Because I got. Okay. How about you go get us a cap? Absolutely. Love you. Right. Big cock. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's someone that you know. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow. Regrettably. Goodness. Yeah. Uh, hey, let me give you my number. Okay. Um, sorry. Here, let me, uh, let me help you. Do you want to come to a party and you can bring your friend? Oh, shit. No, I, I work really late. Not this late. Okay, let's go! Uh, uh, come on, let's go. You can call her later. Call her later. That's just fucking weird. I was kind of... Okay, it is a little weird. It's a little weird. Let's go. <laughs> it's fucking the Twitter guy that was trying to tell me, like, oh, I'm a really big deal, I'm a really big deal. As if I would be impressed by that. I mean, you know who my godfather is, seriously. So that'll be up to you. I'm gonna head home. Boo. I had a fun night. I just wanna go home and crash. Leo. I'll see you in the morning. Try to come before noon. Sure, fine, whatever you need. See you in the morning.
What time is it? It's the full noon. Why is everything so goddamn bright? Because this is what we normal people call daytime. <sighs> Come down. I've got some of your shit. I packed it up for you. Thought you might need it. Perfect. Bring it with you. Yep. All of this. So, I have a bunch of other things I was going to sell, but I think you should have them. Thanks. As long as I can sell them. Why would you do that? Jeez, I was just kidding. So, how's Nick? Nick is good. He never told me what happened after he stood you up. <laughs> You're selling this? It's lovely, but I don't wear it enough. I bought this for you, Kat. Did you? It's funky and I like it. <laughs> then keep it, I don't care. Are you keeping this? So the total comes to $954. Super. Let's talk about your career. What about it? Do you enjoy where you're working? Um, am I a masochist? Is that what you consider Agatha to be? Um, no. I think the only thing that could possibly bring her pleasure is black leather against her thighs. How do you see yourself moving forward? Um... Don't you want to create your own line? Well, yeah, but I don't really think that's an option right now. I mean, if you know anyone who wants to give money to a 23-year-old, please let me know. Then would you say you're stuck? No, um... <laughs> God, you're making this out so much worse than it is. It's just... Okay, so maybe the boutique is cold and dead and lifeless, but, I mean, I, I am making a lot of great contacts I can use later in my life. Do you really mean that? <sighs> no. Let's talk about Henry. Let's. Do you want to make love to him? Um, maybe? Ed, sure, why not? What do you look for in a guy? Well, a career in fashion or art, film, photography, music. I mean, I can't help it. I like guys who create. Do you think this stems from a fear of expressing yourself creatively? Wow. Um, I just went to fashion school, so I don't have a problem creating. I mean, like, it's just not my thing right now. Uh-huh. Really. No, I think I've made some really bold choices with my life.
It's Nikki here. Get your ass up. You got plans tonight? What's the matter? My boy Dan is DJing at the club mm -hmm. right now. Fucking DJ Dan, you met him, what, like five times? Come on, come through. Text me. Yeah, fashion girl by day. <sighs> Those models, they're all so, so tall and, and beautiful and, and flawless, and they have those perfect teeth. Oh, now that I was with them, I was just thinking of you. Wait, I thought there was just one. Oh, come on. If it rains and everything gets wet, does it really matter if it rains again an hour later? Um, what? Oh. Um. You know what I'm trying to say is that I was like sleeping with a mannequin, like a really, a really soft mannequin. Wait, you slept with one of your models? Oh my god, none of them compare, Lily. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, remember what I said about eye contact? Hey, make some waffles. I can't. I have to go home. No, come on. Make some waffles first. <laughs> I have to go to work. Well, I want him to come with you. Yeah, come. Come on. I'm going to let you work. I'm making any noise. I don't think so. Jesus. Oh, you're so much nicer when you're wasted. Wait, what? What is this? That is a bra. Oh, Jesus, Lily, could you please not start this this morning?
are not available to take your call, please leave a message and I will get back to you. Are you ready? So, let's talk about Nick. Yeah, well, that was obviously humiliating. Then why do you put up with him? I don't know. Um... I just want to be with someone who could do so much better than me. Doesn't that put you in low regard? No, it actually means that I have really high standards. I see. Yeah, glad we cleared that up. You kind of seem to be going through a tailspin. I'll call it what you will. Where are your parents? Um... They're not here. They've moved. They have better things going on. Don't you feel like going home? She spent probably about $350 on this coat, which, you know, is, is a perfectly fine amount of money to spend if it's, you know, one of a kind, vintage, lovely, right. old, unique piece. And um, then a couple of weeks later, we were walking down Fifth Avenue, 
And we see the same coat no, in the, the window same of the department store, yeah. Oh. And it was on sale for about maybe a third of what she had paid for it. It just got ripped off by Awful. some flea market twat. Awful. Pretty fucking bad mistake for a fashion student to make. Hey, do you know if there's a bathroom in here? Oh, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I, well, I'm, I'm gonna try to go find. Don't, don't move. Okay. I'll be right back. Never guess who I saw. Who? Your ex, the racist. I mean, you remember the racist, don't you? I do, Lily. He was such a racist. He wasn't racist. Then what was he? An asshole. I mean, I guess you wouldn't really remember that, though, since you were just backing out all the time. Excuse me? I mean, I'm just saying that you were into some really dark shit. Yeah, I was. Thanks for bringing it up. So, uh, buried or cremated? Buried. Cremated. The way I see it, you can choose. You can either be a turban or a bobby pin. I mean, Sure, one is fun and flashy, but it goes out of style like that. Bobby pins are a bore, but they're dependable. They get the job done. No fussing with the trends, just invisible fixtures doing their job. And like, I know a lot of guys who secretly wish they could borrow hairstyles or styles from a genre not their own. Uh-huh. They can't, like the lawyer who's afraid of what the firm's senior partners or even his cleaning lady might think. Will they wonder? Is he a pedophile, or worse, like a hipster? Are you having a bad day? Do you want to, like, grab a drink or something? Uh, yeah. No, no, that sounds 
Great. Um, I can be over there in a little. I just have to drop by my place. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Finishing up, and then I'm out the door. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta go. But uh, I mean, you can stay here if you want. Have fun. What are you talking about? Henry texted, said he was with you. We ran into each other after work. How cute. You're like a little porcelain doll. So, what do you want to get into tonight? I'm not tired. Now that the night's proper fucked, I'm gonna bugger off to bed. It's not even ten. I'll see you tomorrow night. What are you smiling about? I've never been finger-painted by a guy before. Are you in love? Um, I guess. Are you bothered by the fact that Kat only has two days? Really?
bucks, Henry. Hey. Glad you decided to stop by. Yeah, sorry we're late. No, welcome. Welcome, man. We, we barely started. Here. Looks like you could use one of these. Listen, if, if things get too extreme, I want you to tell me. I feel responsible for you, too. Okay, yeah, things look pretty crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, enjoy. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> mother-daughter bonding thing she should take me to go and see a psychic with her like seriously no seriously like i mean the last i mean i don't want to go and see a psychic anyway like, alone with my mother can you imagine i mean what might like what might come out you know in front of her i, I don't want and i don't want to know about her stuff either i mean seriously my mother is lucky <laughs> you're in fashion? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I think fashion's pointless. Two? Three more? Three more. Oh, here, I'll help you. You didn't even finish that one. Hey. Hey. Uh, you having fun? Yeah. Um, this is an amazing apartment. I really like the Christmas lights. Yeah. You know, you can tell me if Colin's being an asshole. No. <laughs> no, I mean, he's just, you know, like, really witty. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> mm hmm So, uh, you know how to make these? I think I can handle it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. when. When? When? <laughs> Okay. Okay. okay, all right. Are you trying to trick me? No. Look, you can just tell me that you want to fuck me for later. Or don't. But quit it with this grade school shit. Pills or you can get the fuck out of Henry's house. Ladies first. Everybody take one. And one. Uno. And uh, one for you. Last but not least, take one. Enjoy. And I'll see you in about two, two hours. Enjoy. If you guys see helicopters, it's completely normal.
I just want to say I'm really happy for you. That's wonderful to hear. There's not much to tell, really. Um, I was in love with her, and but I wasn't. Hmm. Was she a ten? Good morning, busy guy. Talking to you. Why not? 
you made Henry blow you so long he fell asleep on your vagina? Okay, so this is about him. No, it's about you then, it's always about you. Why did you do it? What did you expect? <laughs> Lily, listen, do you think I'd be pissed if it was you? Do not touch me. Don't ruin this. I keep trying to make this fun, this whole summer, and you keep fucking ruining it. Wait, are you serious? I'm, I'm the one ruining this? Kat, you ruined everything. You are, you are actually destroying everything. What are you talking about? You hurt me and you betrayed me, Kat. And if you really felt so fucking bad about it, you wouldn't even consider leaving. I didn't know it hurt. Yeah, well, you hurt me really fucking bad. It hurts like hell. Okay, and you keep on saying that I'm the one ruining this? We spent four years pretending that we were going to completely take over the world. And then, like, completely out of the blue, you tell me that you're moving to England a week before? And, and you're not moving for a job, okay? Just stop fucking saying that. You are moving because you are scared. And because you're bored and it's easy. And you're bored and, and you don't know what else to do. And it's just so easy to move when all you really think about is getting drunk and getting high and getting laid and having fun. And you know what, Kat? That's because you don't really do anything. You don't fucking do anything. And nobody else seems to really realize this because you have this awesome fucking British accent. It's like, bullock sun, Kat. And I can do whatever I want, cheerio. And I, I can be split and tipping and fucking going all around, tra la 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 la. But because I'm blonde and hot, people think I'm whimsical. And so, oh, radio, why don't I just go ahead and fuck everyone? And I mean that literally and figuratively, Kat. You fuck everyone. I never, never meant to hurt you. You hurt me all the time, Kat. Whenever it makes you feel better. Describe your friendship in one word. That's a really stupid question. I'm just trying to understand. Um... I mean, it's not that complicated. We were really close and then she fucked it up. going away thing. Where is it? <laughs> I assumed you organized it. Yeah, we'll see. She's your best friend, Lily. You can't just not be there. No, I really can't. No, no, I can't. 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 I
challenges the status quo. Do you afraid of that? You. Lily, I, I came here to apologize. Really? Tell me more. What's going on here? Oh, well, we promised that you wouldn't let your, you know, shit get in the way of us. You're the one that's full of shit. <laughs> I know that you don't believe that. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. That is not how we speak to clients. Eat a dick, Agatha! I think it's safe to assume you don't want to be here anymore. And you're bored. You're... Um, what are you? 23. 23. Yeah. You feel like you should be doing something exciting. That's not how it is. Oh, no, it is. I see what goes on here. This mindless job sucked the life out of me. That's why I hire people like Agatha. Nothing left to suck. You know. So I'm gonna fire you. And look, I say go for it. Get your hands dirty, get poor, get desperate, try ecstasy, do coke, get fucking dangerous. I mean, before you know it, you're gonna be 40 with kids and a miserable mortgage. Now's the time to fucking live. No, I know you are having problem. Where are you going?
Have you stayed in touch? Yeah, we talk sometimes. How are you feeling now? Really good, actually. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think that sometimes you have to split apart in order to grow or grow up. <laughs> and is that the profound note you want to end on? I mean, who says that this is the end? <laughs>